Professor Peter Blamey is one of the world's most respected hearing scientists and inventors. Throughout his distinguished career, Professor Blamey has been responsible for changing the world of traditional hearing aid technology, and as a result, played a role in changing the lives of hearing impaired people the world over. He has played a broad groundbreaking role in hearing science, from the development of spoken language in children with impaired hearing, to technical innovations that helped to bring the cochlear implant or bionic ear and a self-fitted hearing aid system to the world market. We met at the Bionic Ear Institute where I joined the team as a, a researcher and Peter was working on some really interesting work on hearing aids and cochlear implants with children. I was at Monash doing my PhD in uh, nuclear physics and I uh, saw a cochlear implant advertised in the paper, applied for the job and got to work with Graham Clark and a fabulous team of people. Peter's the sort of person who's always focused very strongly on one specific goal and tried to make sure that that goal would become a reality. And I think that's one of his great strengths, is that he keeps at things until he gets the result that he wants. Today, Professor Blamey is the co-inventor of over 20 patent and patent application families, most of which have been used in cochlear implants and or hearing aids. My father was a physicist too. He said, if you do physics, you can do anything, and it turned out he was right. In the year 2000, Professor Blamey's research team entered the Melbourne Business School's inaugural Entrepreneurs' Challenge with a winning business plan entitled Digital Solutions for Deafness. This led to the foundation of Dynamic Hearing Proprietary Limited, which combined ADRO amplification with directional microphones, feedback cancellation, noise reduction and other technologies to produce a complete solution for a unique, high-quality hearing aid. Professor Blamey and the co-founder of Dynamic Hearing, Dr. Elaine Saunders, licensed the technology to hearing aid and headset manufacturers internationally. ADRO is an amazing digital amplifier. Peter invented it when he was trying to make sure that uh, the loudness of hearing aids was kept audible and comfortable. ADRO was first developed for people who had a cochlear implant in one ear and a hearing aid in the other. It gives better sound quality because it doesn't compress the sound so much into the, the hearing range of the listener. And it's also very easy to fit. Uh, instead of spending hours trying to get the right settings for an individual, you can do it in a few minutes. Blamey and Saunders Hearing Proprietary Limited has overcome these barriers by developing the technology and the business model for a self-fitted hearing aid that can be supplied online anywhere in Australia for about a third of the price of comparable hearing aids. So we've tried to make it available at a price point that's not frightening for people to do something sooner than later because it will give them better quality of life. The self-fitted hearing aid also allows the user to adjust the output levels of the device at home on a personal computer. So it really brings control to the user and I think that's absolutely what we need in, in hearing aids, that people take control of their hearing like they take control of other aspects of their health. Throughout his career path, Professor Blamey studied the acquisition of spoken language by deaf children using cochlear implants or hearing aids and developed a computer-aided speech and language analysis package that is widely used for research. Both Peter and other people in the Bionics Institute are very much motivated by seeing the good outcomes in people of all ages. You know, every time I see a child with a, a cochlear implant and know that you can go up to them in the street and talk to them, it's, it's just wonderful to know that I've been part of that. How many people get to have worked through their career to have a hearing technology that they can take out to people all over the country, potentially all over the world, and see extraordinary changes in their lives? Professor Blamey is now chairman of Blamey and Saunders Hearing Proprietary Limited and deputy director for IP and commercialization of the Bionics Institute. His vision is that health and economic benefits of advanced sound processing technologies are delivered in an effective, efficient and sustainable manner. We're working on 
a, a bionic eye. We're working on a device for uh, the detection and suppression of epileptic seizures, another device which stimulates deep in the brain to treat things like Parkinson's disease, obsessive compulsive disorder. But the technologies that we've worked so carefully on for 30 years are now going to see an explosion of new applications. <laughs>